All right, folks, we have the bathroom fixture and I'm actually going to temporarily be installing this inside of kind of like an entryway because my secondary bathroom isn't quite to the remodeled portion or starting, I should say. But this will give you a beautiful idea. So let me just show you kind of, this is the entryway into kind of like my secondary portion. There's a door behind me and uh, you could turn this into a mud room, et cetera. It has this older light right here, as we can see that uh, definitely needs to be replaced. I do have this beautiful mirror right here, gold arched mirror, and of course my cold plunge right here as well. So anyway, this is gonna be just a temporary upgrade before I get to this remodeled portion of the house. So the light fixture came very well packaged. You get some wire nuts, mounting screws, assembly and installation instructions, but I'll kind of walk you through some of the steps here. First and foremost, right off the bat, beautiful gold color and black as we can see. I actually have their porch lights and I love them. They're absolutely fantastic and we're going to be putting some edison led bulbs in these which i highly recommend don't skimp and put in some cheaper light bulbs put in some nice light bulbs so you got some little thumb screws right here the back of it we have our little harness right here as you can see and our neutral black and grounding wire right here okay you do have of course your glass enclosures right here this needs to be unscrewed. The glass goes in and then this goes inside the glass and then screws in and then you screw in your bulb. We'll get to that when the time comes. First and foremost, right off the bat, be safe. We're gonna go to the breaker box. I won't show that on camera. We're gonna turn off the breaker, double, triple check it, make sure there's no electricity to your lines. When you do pull off your old fixture, we're gonna do that now, connecting our wires. Let's jump into it. Okay, again, after I triple checked, I have no connectivity. The breaker is off, be safe. Now, this is a plastic box. This is not a metal outlet box right here. So I don't have to ground anything inside the box. We're just gonna be tying in the grounding. You can if you really want to. Here's your grounding screw right here. If it's a metal box, you actually are already grounded inside and then it pulls out and you tie it in together. You're grounding the metal box. But again, this is a plastic box. You don't need to ground. Check with your electrical codes in your precise area. So I removed the old light fixture bracket that was here and I placed the provided bracket inside my box right here. Tightened it down with the provided screws or I should say bolts. And then we have these right here. Go ahead and remove these washers. We're gonna be placing that on the outside as we slip in our light fixture. But of course, with two hands, I'm gonna go ahead and connect ground to ground, neutral to neutral, black to black. We'll put the wire cap nuts on it, then electrical tape on top of that to make sure it's nice and secure. Okay, you can see them inside right here. So what I did is because this light fixture has two whites and two blacks, I tied all the blacks together, the copper wires together, and the whites all together as well. I then put on the provided nut caps, which are the orange caps, and then wrapped them on the wires first, then going up the cap. And what that does is that just prevents that slippage out as you shove the wiring back into your electrical box right there. As you can see here, my bolts are nice and straight, ready for this to go on. Of course, my little nuts are removed as well, so it slips on. Okay, then your washers go on the outside of the light fixture right here, tighten those down. That's a seven millimeter wrench or socket. And then your little black covers go over the top here. And then once again, remove that gold cover first, then slip on your glass. And just a little tip for you here, I have pretty large hands and it was a little tight in there, but I can get my super big hands in there. But if you have a small child that you can put up on a ladder carefully, that might be the better option. Also, wait for a helper. Uh, pretty inconvenient trying to hold this up, especially on a step stool or ladder with one hand while well, you're trying to get your wires twisted together with Lyman's pliers and then electrical tape with one hand. Uh, it'd be a lot easier if someone were to hold this up so you could work with both your hands. Makes it a lot easier. It is one man optional, but definitely better with two. And again, okay, so that just screws on right there. We'll do that to all four. And what's nice is look at the gold matching my arch mirror. Beautiful. We'll put some Edison bulbs in here and we'll turn it on. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, that looks absolutely fantastic. Highly recommend 
the Edison bulbs. I will link these in the top link of the description box below as well with this exact same light fixture. It will be in the description box below. I'll just pull one out here. These are six watt. They are yellow color. They're linked in the description box below and they just make your bathroom fixtures look so much better than your cheaper bulbs. Don't cheap out. Spend the money for some great bulbs and they look absolutely fantastic. Look at the beautiful gold with the black leveled out beautifully for bulbs and let's go ahead and hit some switches here and it just lights it up beautifully warm i like warm colors i like warm tones that would look gorgeous if you bought two of these for your bathroom or just one if you have a smaller bathroom over a single sink or a double vanity look at that that is beautiful so ladies and gentlemen that passes my test especially with those nice bulbs in there let's go ahead and look at those edison bulbs see look how cool those things are ladies and gentlemen once again top link in the description box below will be this light fixture it's beautiful nice and secure nicely well crafted you might have to take a little rag and wipe off some fingerprints as you're screwing on these glass coverings but beautiful nonetheless if you guys wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button on the way out but just like all my videos please don't go into debt for anything i do make a video about but if you do have the cash and the light fixture does intrigue you please go ahead and purchase on away i will also link their outdoor porch light which i highly recommend subscribe if you want to see more videos like this this house being remodeled van life build videos and more. My name's Chris. We'll see you on the next video. Take care for now. Bye-bye.